Hello everybody and welcome once again to Danny and Sons Real Tech Mod Pack. Hi, this episode what I'd like to do is to do some cooking for blockheads. But of course, first of all, we're going to start with bees. Well, actually, first of all, we're going to look at something else that I found a bit strange. Let's have a look at this. You see at the moment, I've got temp tan, <laughs> tan temp info on. And you can see that the season is minus one. In fact, winter's just, the harsh winter, minus 14, is just finished. But what's confusing me a little bit is I'm here and the season's minus two and i'm in here season's minus four three four and i go around here and then the season becomes minus seven so i'm a bit confused so before harsh winter this was minus 14 i'm not sure why is it because i'm on the border with forest because at the moment this is plain still everywhere's plain and here's forest probably because i'm on the border of forest don't know anyway let's get on and have a look at this piece what i've decided to do is to do a second um, a pre because it's going to be very slow doing it the other way anyway and it's not a bad idea to do it a second a pre anyway so let's knock this flower away don't need that flower and put this a pre down here and we can at least have two places with it so those were the previous bees we got forest and this time we've got strangely enough meadows so well let's go and get another pure meadows and a pure um forest out of the box here now let's have a look which one should we do princesses our princesses are in this chest mostly and i've got to use a a think noble stock pristine so we'll use this one and we'll take some meadows drones and uh, i should have plenty of meadows drones around here i've got 61 of those so we'll just take of those three i think and i think that's a hybrid yes it is a hybrid probably should chuck it away uh, hybrids are bad generally speaking but um but i've got plenty of forest drones in here so i'll just take three of those to see how we get on it's more than enough for what we're going to do so let's get on put into here the the drone and a princess so that's going to make up and we'll come to this one and we're going to be, have a look at this one here and see what we get out of this one. So we need to analyse these bees. So what we're now looking for is common properties, or <laughs> properties of common bees I should say, shouldn't I? So here we've got a Meadows Princess, so it's a pure Meadows, but it's got still got this these time three which come from forest. So I've got to mix that with a forest one and I don't think that any of these are going to be any use at all because they're looking a bit... So that was a meadows forest so i've got no success with the crossbreeding yet at all but we will do that's the way it works so these are all pure um forest princesses anyway it's all one of those in there we got two honeycomb out of that so that'll cost almost to cover the cost of actually analyzing the bees so let's put those honeycombs into here they'll get fed into here and the output will come out here in fact at what i should also be doing if I've got lots of imperial bees, let's have a look at the majestics, aren't they? We've got 21 imperial bees drones in here. Let's take out all but one and cover another bee to being imperial. So what I'm going to do to do that, <laughs> hello butterfly, is to take another princess, which is a pristine, a pristine stock. It can be, it doesn't really matter which one I've got. I'm going to use, as so long as it can breed in this, in this area. What have we got here? Pristine, another for, pristine forest princess. So what I'm going to do with this one, see I've got a, I've been breeding out forests and this one, so let's try now I'm making this one to be an imperial drone. And we should have, and then we'll have two princesses and they can be running at the same time. I've actually got two, oh, that's the wrong chest, let's look at the right one. So here's an industrious queen, I've got two industrious. So I might as well take these out if you like that, give it a sort. And do the same for the imperial ones which are here. Oh, I need to take these out, don't I? Because they're going to get broken and I don't want to lose those because they're, as I said, fairly expensive. Uh, and I'm running out of space. So what I'm going to do is, I'll do this. I'm going to do this on camera now. I'm just going to put this in the way. Let's put this into here. And let's put this into here like that. And royal jelly. I only got one. That's strange. I must have more than one royal jelly. And let's get the. Um, I want the. I want these out of here, don't I? I need to repair those. I'll repair those in my own time. But uh, for the time being, let's take these out of here like that. Ah. 
Wow. Take a look at the I'll simply get rid of these, put those in there, and then when I get round to repairing them, we'll repair them. So the raw jelly goes into this chest down here. So we're getting there. We're about halfway. <laughs> well, actually, we're one stack short in that case. So that's why I want to increase the speed that these are going to be made at. So I'm going to make another couple of these setups in here. Um, I wanted the honeycomb out of that, don't I? And we'll get those running through so we get more bees more rapidly. Let's put those into there. They can be processed. And then we can put this... I think that was a... Oh, it is a pristine princess. That's good. Bit some drones. Let's get those drones. I think they're in the bottom one, aren't they? So if I shift click these into here, they're unknown. They should get... Yes, they get added to these here. These have been analysed. And that's a hybrid. And that's a slightly different one. But it's a pure pure meadows drone. This one's a hybrid forest. No use whatsoever. We'll throw it away. So we'll do that straight away. Now, today's episode, what I'd like to do is some cooking for blockheads, I think. I don't know whether it's changed between versions 1.10.2 and, oh, Minecraft 1.10.2 and the current version of 1.12.2. But we'll find out. So what I want to do is get rid of this flower, don't I? I don't want to dump this bee into the, the waste disposal unit here. In fact, I'm going through this chest quite regularly and picking out bits and pieces out of it. Normally I'm picking out the bows uh, because I tend to fill up the chest quite rapidly and the other bits don't. So, In fact, what I'm actually doing for this, I'll get rid of those three, don't need power two bows, is I'm preparing for uh, an excursion to um, the Ocean Monument. So I'm, I'm getting stuff ready for that. So this is different healing potions like that. Potions of instant health too, which would come from the, the mob farm. Some night vision potions. And I need some more regen potions because they're going to be very important. But that's for another episode. So now, let's go and see what we need to get cooking for blockheads up and running. So, I, I'll go, oh yes, I've got the, I've still got the um, airship stuff up. I'm not too happy with that, I must be honest. I think it's too expensive on fuel <laughs> and materials, generally speaking, and it's too slow to be really any, m that much use. I think there are better transport mechanisms than that one. Anyway, let's have a look at blockheads. Right, good. There's not actually that many components in cooking for blockheads. So we need the books. Cooking for blockheads, no filter edition recipe book and crafting book. I, I don't think we've got those into in the um, Akashic Tome. Let's have a look. Should right click, left click that to get rid of it. Hold on, try again. Right click it. What do we have in here? We have an immersive craft. No, we don't have any of the books. So we've got to make some of these books, I think. So let's start with these books. Ah, yes, this is the no filter version. So this will be the recipe book. So we basically cook a book. <laughs> Very good, I like it. <laughs> so we need a book. Uh, where are my books? I don't know where my books are. I should really have prepared books, shouldn't I? Uh, too far away. And I could always make some. Oh, I know where they are. They've probably been there, but it's all can I've got any in here. Nope. Nope. Let's make, let's make some books. I need paper. So I need sugar cane. I haven't really done anything much with sugar cane recently. I probably should set up a, a sugar cane farm, shouldn't we? Oh, yes, that reminds me. I haven't, I haven't showed you the other farm I've done, have I? So that's all. I think they're in here. Yes, they are. So we really need sticks, paper, and these. And I think. Let's have a look. Let's do it this way. This is all. Oh, a string. I've got a string. Good. So let's go and cook this book. Hey, right, it's night time. Tell you what, I'll go, go to sleep quickly and cook the book. See you in a few seconds. Right, I've got three books now. So I've made three of these because I looked at the thing and I thought about it. It's a pretty good idea to make three. So we can make one of these by simply self crafting it. So we get the no filter edition. Um, that We'll come to that in a minute. Now we also need to, cooking for blockheads too, possibly. So let's look at the recipe for this one. 
two diamonds <laughs> and you know, it's a bit in the expensive not too expensive for wood but a bit expensive on the diamonds for what it is a book hopefully the book's worth it so i'll do that get out two crafting tables and two diamonds i still got a bit more diamond i'm not too too pushed with it but i will be careful with the diamonds because they are hard to find as we already know so let's do this one get that one up I'm running i think hopefully don't waste the worst of there is a waste of books i've got all three of the books here now we do need to make some cupboards and kitchens and fridges and all the rest of it so let's start doing that so this one here is the cooking table and then we've got an oven and then we've got a fridge and then we've got a sink yes that's all very good stuff and then we need kitchen counters cabinets and corners okay so let's start with the cooking table so we need a book all right this is <laughs> shame that's the one that i use for my i'll have to make that so we need terracotta we can actually do this and some chisels stone plain stone wow that's good so i've got 21 pieces of that but of course it uses my book up which is great I'll make an oven so presumably i need a furnace and three pieces of glass is that have to be any glass let's just check that or does it have to be dark black stained glass okay it has to be black stained glass it shouldn't be a problem i'm cooking i'm cooking myself here i can see i go and turn off this i don't think i need it on at the moment let's just click it off it'll go on in the spring which is going to be great <laughs> Let's have a look at uh, yes, that's 11's fine. We can live with 11 no problem at all. So we just need a wherever, where are they? Oh, we got a furnace in, that's good. Oh, yes, here we go, an ink sack. Oh, yeah, I was going to find the word, and we got the glass ready, so let's make the black stained glass. I'm doing what I said I don't do on camera, and I make the blocks on the on the at the time I'm doing it, so I'll make one of the. Uh, I don't like crafting on camera, as you know, but I'm doing it today for some reason. Right, and the fridge. So an iron door, which we can do three iron doors. Actually, two fridges is a good start, as it happens. So we need a chest. We can do, let's click, oh, perfect, two of those. So we've got two fridges. I'll have a tall fridge. And a kitchen sink. So we need a bucket of water. The only thing I'm short of is a bucket of water. That's no big deal. Let's get three pieces of iron. I'll have to put him in there and moving that one down. It's a lot easier than trying to move your mouse up and down. Let's go and get some bucket. Let's go and get that filled with water. I don't know whether this is an infinite source, whether it's been disabled in this pack. We'll find out. Oh, yes, of course. That's a bit of a problem. Everything's icy at the moment. Well, anyway, I'll use my fortune pick. We'll get, we'll get some ice so we can get bucket of water. Just have to cover it, of course, and then it won't freeze. So now we've got the kitchen thing sorted out. What else do we need? Actually, we need some storage. Oh, we didn't use the bucket up. Ah, didn't realise that. Okay, good. We will need some tool racks, definitely. So, what are those? Just nuggets and slabs. I can make two of those. I'll make two of those to start with. Uh, what else do we need? We definitely need a toaster. A bucket of lava in this case. I guess I'm going to get that back again. Let's get one of these made up. My inventory is too full again. Let's just move stuff out of here. Can I move stuff out of here? Blank patterns. I didn't show you this actually. Maybe I can use these up now. How's my hunger level? No, it still can't use them up. But I was trying to find out what the difference between an apple and an oiled apple was. If you look here, it says that everything's exactly the same. You've got the same nutrients. And you've got the same saturation and food usage. Now, as far as I'm aware, the oiled version is supposed to be double. So what I'm going to do is next time I get hungry, let's just put those away into my bag up here. We're going to eat those and see whether or not it makes any difference whatsoever. We need a bucket of lava. Where have I got a bucket of lava? That's the question. Because I've moved everything over to the other side. I'll have to go to the other side and get it rid of that bucket. I think I put the bucket in here, didn't I? I've got one in my backpack anyway. And I didn't show you this either. This is the 
the farm. What I'm doing in the farm is you'll notice I've got these hill cherries. I don't remember saying I did anything with the hill cherries, but what they are for, have a look down here. Well, that was fast. Is to get cherries. Now, if you look at the uses of cherries, in the squeezer, we get 50 millibuckets of seed oil per cherry and a chance of getting some mulch. 5% chance of I haven't seen any mulch come out of there yet. I wonder if that's. Nope. I don't know where the mulch is going to. Anyway, I haven't got any yet, so that's fine. Uh, and in here, I put the f I put in the uh, the furnace. Now the idea here is I'm going to take, as you can see, I've got some chimneys running around here, and the idea is that it takes the, the chimney out. I must have broken one out of these because I haven't got it in place. And I think what I was trying to do is to see if it could take it out of here and feed it up outside here. I'm not sure whether the, I think this one will work but I'm not sure I think it has to be exactly about underneath the um, the smeltery controller which is a which is a bit of a pain if you you could have it on top or bottom but that may just reduces the layer down by one which I don't like doing. Anyway let's get the bucket of lava out of here. In fact I've got a, a tank up there a most engineering tank with that in so let's use that one. Toaster's quite expensive. Well, we haven't looked at the brews today, but we'll do that another day. I'm working on getting those up because what I want to do is see how effective they are. Now, I've got to be careful, I'm not going to right click that with my hand just in case I'm too far away and decide to do that. So, we need a toaster. What do we need for a toaster? A button, that's not too bad. We can manage a button. Now we should be able to make the toast up. Yep, I'm sure enough I got the bucket back. Good. Now what else do we need? I'd like a milk jar because I'd like to get a cow in a jar for certain. So, <laughs> oh, okay. So I've got to go and get a, is that any type of glass? I think that was any type of glass. Good, I can make that. What's that one there? Just a plank, good. So that's not too bad. We need this, we need to go and get a milk from the cow over there. There's some cows around, not too far away. But what I'll do is I'll cut it out this bit and I'll see you in a second. Right, I've got the bucket of milk. So let's make the milk jar. Yep, just enough ingredients for that one. Now, to do the cow, we have to get an anvil. I think the recipe for this one is an, an anvil, a cow and a jar. We have to bash the cow. That's not too difficult to do. Let's make an anvil because I haven't, I might, anvil may be breaking it. I think. Ah, it's night time. Good. I'll have a quick sleep while I go and get my check my anvil status. I think we get the anvil back. It's in here and the one I've got is very damaged at the moment, I think, but I've got one spare ready for the next time. Right, I'll see you in a few seconds when it's daytime and I'm by the cows. Well, Oh, it's got a creepy split up there. <laughs> right, here's a cow. What I probably should have got is a lead. Let's see if I can do it anyway. There's two cows around here. So what I need to do is make a hole down here, two blocks deep, and I want to be out of it when I do that, don't I? Put the jar down the side of it, at the bottom of that. Shift right click it in there, and see if we can push this cow into that hole. If he doesn't run off, it might be difficult to do this. Nope, he's walking over it. Come back, you. I need you to go the other way. Otherwise, I've got more work. I'll tell you what, I'll come back a second when I've got him in a hole. Any hole will do. See you in a second. Well, I've got a cow and a lead. I went back, got a lead. So I'm going to be able to put this cow, hopefully, back here. Get him in this thing there. Can I put that there? Yes, now he can't get out, which is great. So I can now, with a bit of luck, put up. I think we'll put that like that. And we'll put on, maybe on the side. Let's get that jar back again. Some pods still down there it would be a good place to break it. Let's see if I can get rid of this lead first of all, it's getting in the way. So, right click the cow, I should get the lead back in. Yes, good. So, now can I put this down here? Oh, I can't put it down. I probably have to go down and move the cow a bit. So I can cast on it and get out. Yes, I can. Good. Now, can he? That's the next question. Let's see if we can 
put some dirt around him to make sure it doesn't jump out again. I got him in a nice hole. And I got this. didn't get this onto him yet. So now I need to get this him across onto that thing. So let's just see if I can get him across. Push him over. Right now he's he's in position. Fantastic. So let's take the anvil. Right click this onto here. Boom. There he goes. Got my anvil back. And now he's a prisoner in my jar. So let's just break all this down. <laughs> Once you think about it, it takes a few seconds, but it's not that difficult. Over here, there, if I remember right, there was a skeleton and a donkey stuck in the water over there. Can't see the skeleton anymore. Well, the donkey's gone. So let's just break away this pod so created by the there'll probably be some more created over there by the looks of it. We'll get rid of that. Right, so now we've got this. Come on the jar. Let's have a look. What else do we need? It's a bit steep now, I just won't go that way. It doesn't hurt anyway, that's good. So that gives us a permanent or permanent milk supply without having to go and find cows all the time. In fact, that's going to be very good for the ocean monument as well, because we're going to need milk in order to get rid of mining fatigue three. Want to remember? Yes. Let's get rid of that. Don't need that anymore. And I'll put back the lead on back over here. It was over here before. I had one spare. So oh, I wanted to pick up some narcissus and some seeds. Let's get rid of the seeds. And let's get rid of the narcissus because I'm going to get a full inventory and I don't need it. So that should go into there. It does good. Now, the next thing on the list here is probably Pam's tools as it happens, but we haven't got any kitchen cupboard yet. So we need some more. We need some more um, chests. Let's get some chest doing. Eight pieces of wood or oh, logs will do. That'll give us four chests. It's a nice recipe that one, I quite like it. So I'll have a, a kitchen counter. What have we got here? A kitchen cabinet. I like one of those as well. A little do to start with. So we've got other bits and pieces in here, like we've got a fruit basket. Oh, that's interesting, I've never seen that one before. That must be new. I've got that, so I just need some wood. Don't know why. I'm taking one piece of wood at a time to make planks. Oh, actually, I've got three here, isn't I? So let's use these three to make some slabs. And then we can make this fruit basket. <laughs> I wonder how that works. I guess you put fruit in it. And that one I haven't seen before. Oh, and a spice rack. We haven't made a spice rack either. Let's make a spice rack. I probably need more than these when we've actually set everything up. This is a kitchen floor. Now, I don't know what to be using black concrete and white concrete to make a kitchen floor. That's quite nice. What I was thinking of doing was using slate and uh, marble, but I haven't got any marble. So what have we got here? A heating unit. Oh, that's an oven upgrade. Now, these are interesting. These I haven't seen before. So we've got a preserva preservation chamber which is the fridge up kit, ice unit, which is fridge. What do we need for this? Snowballs and a redstone comparator. That shouldn't be too difficult. Snowballs, we've got no shortage of snowballs. I think they're here. Well, so that's no 140 odds, not actually not that many, but it's cold and it's wintry and it's... So we need to make this. Can I, can I have three redstone torches? I've got those in here. Probably going to need two sets of these my guess would be just thinking about it because this I haven't seen before let's do this one I should have done that twice a bit I'm going to put them to need two and if I don't it's making a difference so let's make a fridge upgrade and let's make the preservation upgrade yes how about that pretty good guess and, and I bet we need another one for the heating upgrade yes we do so that's another two pieces of another quartz, three sticks, three pieces of redstone. Hopefully we've got enough stone in stock. I don't know whether we have or not. 
So we'll make this and we'll see how he get how he gets on with that. It's just our nuggets, is it? Alright, got one of those good. Three short of one iron nugget. That shouldn't be too difficult. That's silver nuggets, unfortunately. Let's just turn this one into nuggets. Now we should be able to make the heating upgrade for the oven. Now what does this do? And that's Oh, we can heat the oven using energy. Great. Okay, that is good actually. Provides snow and ice to recipes. Prevents the last item in the slot being from being used up. Oh, okay. So I haven't played with those before, so they're new. But let's have a look. Oh, I don't need all this. Another quartz for me. I'll just put that away. Did I not go to sleep? I didn't, but I'm not. I'm not too dark. We'll carry on for a bit. So that's most of the stuff. What's this? A coloured cra block crafter. Crush cobblestones with dyes. Not actually too expensive as it happens. We just need purple dye and cyan dye. We'll do that another time. So let's go now and have a look at um, Pam's Harvest Craft. Because she's got a lot of tools that we need and they've got all the fruits and things like that. Well, what I need to do is to find the, the tools and things that she's got. So that was a well <laughs> may not be a very useful sigh. <laughs> so cooking for block cuts has definitely changed, but I don't think Pam's has changed that much. So for instance, Mo, we need um I'm just wondering how to do this. There must be stuff in there, that's a lot of a pot. There we go. So we have a pot, which is a stick and four bricks. Four bricks we can cut with no problem. To make a pot. Oh, did I not count that right? No I didn't. Three. Okay, good. Now as you can see my inventory is full again, so let's get let's get up here and see if I can get rid of anything I can. Not very much as it happens. Put the angle back again. Tell you what, I go to sleep. I've got another door as well, haven't I? So I'll come back and when I've been to sleep and cleared up my inventory a bit. See you in a minute. Well, I'm back. I've actually found the page I need for this. So we need to make a chopping board as well. Uh, what are we missing? One, another brick. Everything's got a brick in this recipe, but it looks like that one. So a chopping board, a piece of plank stick, and that we got a chopping board. Next one, done the bowl, done the skillet, I've done the saucepan, yes. I haven't done the bake way yet. Oh, of course, that's eight pieces of clay. If I count this down to 60, I should have eight. So now I can actually do that recipe without even thinking about it, can we? The chest recipe in clay. Best of the water, I've done that one. Mixing bowl. What do we need here? Painted, any wood, okay. Do a mixing bowl, the problem, a wooden bowl for mixing. And juicer. And I've done that one. So we've got all our tools and, and implements. So what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go over to the nether and we're going to have a look over there where I'm actually going to set all of this up. So I'll see you in a few seconds when, I'm, when I've reached the, the new base, so to speak. Oh no, there is something else I would like to take with me before I forget. So let's, let's go and get that. In these backpacks here I've got all sorts of different seeds and things. So what I would like to do is to pick up one of these if I can. Yes, I can. Good. And then come to another. Right. I'll see you in a minute or two when I'm when I'm there. Right, I'm here. So I'm going to go into this little bit here. I've got a little cubicle in here where I've got a room, sort of a room prepared. I'm going to have to make this a bit a bit tidier. But what we're going to do is set up this. Um, for the, I think I'll have to set this up for the next episode. So has a bit of a crafting episode this one isn't it anyway until next time i wish you all the best bye for now <laughs>